Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very beautiful morning. Obviously, we did some raids last night and all of that with Ghost and Netlum. We even got six an hour doing literal trios. Just me, Ghost, and Netlum. And we still hit six an hour. I will say the, the last raid was a bit rough. I think P2 Furzik around there is where we lost the Infernos and Mods. But it was still very doable. Um, but something even more amazing happened because I just woke up and... Well, I'll just let the clip from Mr. Tide that play for itself. Good luck. Oh my god. No way, bro. Hell fucking yeah, dude. Free, we did it! And there you have it. Our boy Tide managed to pull the ZGS ornament last night. Fucking incredible. It's done. We finally can make. Our first ancient gods ornament. I am so happy waking up to that, bro. It's fucking amazing. Oh, this took so long to get. Fucking shout out to Ty. We did a lot of ma masters like the last few days as well. But, oh, it finally paid off. Man, waking up to stuff like that, opening your Discord and seeing one of your teammates pull something this massive is just fucking... Oh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> and then yesterday we got the Flamberg and recently we got a Sang Sive. The upgrades are just non-stop and it's amazing. Let's just go ahead and make it real quick. And now we finally own our first ever Ancient God Sword Ornament. We are popping the fuck off. Now we have three claws, an Ancient God Sword Ornament, the Flamberg. Like, these raids gonna go crazy. Alright, I ended up getting a little pet box from uh, one of his master tasks. And goes at the points to buy a key, so let's see what we get. Not a special accessory, sadly. Alright then guys, a bunch of things have sold overnight. Well, a bunch of things. The scythe from yesterday ended up selling. Which means another $100 month, so we can get a few more of those precious, precious, glorious gems. Um, so we can get some full rune coin exchanges again, because we've been uh, a little low on that. Because we couldn't afford the gems right now. Uh, I don't have a lot of spare donator tickets, so this will have to do. I'm just gonna spend it all on gems. I don't think I talked about it or even showed it, but uh, after Ghost bought that Berserker Blessing yesterday, I left for a little bit, and when I came back, Ty had actually opened two exotic M boxes and pulled a Berserker Blessing from it, but I don't remember if I included the clip or not, so just in case I totally forgot about it, I did want to quickly mention that. Because um, we do have a spare Berserker because of it, so... Eventually, if we get a spare armaments again, we can roll another artillery. Nothing too crazy, not a huge influence right now, but I did figure I would mention it so that if we eventually get another armament, you guys aren't like, hey, where did Berserker Blessing come from? We Ty pulled, it, uh, pulled that yesterday from an exotic M box, so just a little detail. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, continuing to grind, we are instantly doing some more TOBs during the day. Just me, Ty and Skeleton. I think that now that we have the AGS Aura as well as the Flamberg and a pair of Claws and everything, we're not really gonna have to specifically rely on other people. We already didn't really have to, but it's gonna be much smoother now and the AGS Aura is gonna help on Furzik and shit, so... We should still be able to hit 6 an hour, we're gonna find out. We had a bit of a slow start though, because we fucked up Maiden, didn't get the skip, and that uh, meant going into Bloat without spec, so that went slower, yada yada yada, but... As long as we can make up for it in the rest of the raid, we should be good. I am confident and hopefully we'll see some more red lights today. The grind is going really strong. The last few weeks have been crazy in terms of all the items we are getting and unlocking and RNG and just a lot of crazy shit. So, been really fun. Hopefully we can continue that and start seeing like more Sang types, maybe jump back into chambers and get some tenacity scrolls for the players that don't have it, stuff like that. Honestly speaking, I just want to like have a general goal of getting maximum decked out gear for when TOA comes out. That's kind of my overarching goal. So ensuring all the accounts have tenacities, ensuring we have Sang Sight for everyone, all of that stuff. Yeah, see how that goes in the long haul though. Good luck to the boys. First raid of the day is a random raid in my name. No, it is most definitely not. We are also eight off. I think all of us are enough off to not get... Ooh, Puka Fuzik. But uh, Skeleton is actually three off. Oh yeah, good one. Ooh, a Fernic Hilt as well. Damn. Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Book of Furzik and a Fernic. Good luck next raid. No randoms. Any more semi-rares, though? Recipes one for Ty. Wow. 
And here comes the next read. Good luck. No random. No random for Ty. Skelly is one off now. Next read for our second Sang Sife. I can't wait. He. Skelly, anything? No Good luck. luck. Next read. Skeleton with his guarantee. Will it be red? Of course not. It never is. Ty is the only one that gets red in this team. What did he get? Right. Garazi Rapier. Oh, I got an Infernal at least. That's something. Alright. Oh. Alright, guys. Final raid of the hour. We only managed to get five an hour, unfortunately. It was not as great as we had hoped. But it, it's mainly because we weren't getting maiden skips. We just kept failing on the RNG department. Skeleton is the only person using claws right now, but he was just specking shit after shit after shit. And if you miss that many skips, yeah, you're not gonna hit six an hour, unfortunately. Not even close. We barely hit five. It ran out mid, mid shit on the uh, last Furzik there, but it is what it is. We'll try again later, or maybe in the evening if we have four again, that would be nice. But for now, still really, really happy that we got the AGS, or it's still a massive time save compared to before. At the time, I managed to buy one more exotic M box because we are sick and tired of claws, so we're just gonna pull a second Flamberg so we don't have to rely on those anymore. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, just enchanted a few M chests and we got a few M boxes. Gonna open them on Ghost, gave him the Falcon temporarily, because he needs the mystery shots the most out of everyone right now. And I'm trying to get some orbital plate skirts, if lucky enough, that would be fan-fucking-tastic. Not seeing too much good shit so far, we did get a petty gem for a little bit of rune coin increase, but... If it ain't the glorious gem, who gives a shit, am I right? Armor skirt, please. Another shit gem. Nothing good from that. Tacit, Eternal Crystal. Getting God Wars items, but not the correct ones. Armor skirt, please. Hello? No! Oh. Never lucky. Alright, we only did an hour of raiding. Ty had stayed up all night. He got the CGS, so he's going to sleep. Uh, Ghost is probably still at work. Same with Skeleton. Currently doing some uh, Callisto and Venonatus on Ghost and Ty on challenge mode, so we can farm some points for that. And I'm doing KQ because it's my elite soul hunter task to do for reanimated KQ. Of course, now that we have the Flamberg, KQ is suddenly easy. I wanted to say again, but we've actually never had easy KQ in the group Iron Man. That was on Econ Brush. But I have gotten used to it, and then since they nerfed the AGS ornament, you couldn't really do it anymore, yada yada yada. Now we can. So hopefully we can actually start seeing some head drops. The RNG isn't fully there yet. I am fully elixir. Because I wanted to one-hit KQ most of the time. Sadly, still doesn't happen every time, but it does happen quite often. And then uh, specs will deal with P2. So yeah, that's quite nice. And AFK CM points on the side because I think one of the biggest DPS increases we can obtain right now, now that we have a lot of good weapons and shit, is to get more restorations. So pet boxes and price keys are gonna start being a bit more of a priority, I believe. Alright then, got myself 4k Q hats. Let's finish our Elite Soul Hunter task. Kill four of them, so that shouldn't be too bad right now. Got epics on me, and I think the uh, flame bird will just absolutely melt it. It's 450 HP. Is one spec gonna be enough to kill it? No, not quite. I'm going to her sang side right away. Oh, wouldn't it be hilarious to see a ranging trend from this? After going so dry on Econ Brush for one. Keep in mind, we already do have one within the within the group Iron Man. I wouldn't mind getting a second one. Probably bring like my drop rate pen and stuff, huh? Time for the second one, this time with a lot more drop rate bonus. Hopefully it will help out. Get my Soothsayer on as well. 202%. Boom, ranging trimmed. No. And number three. And one final one. Here we go. Nah, no, well, it was fun imagining for a little while. Actually got Corporal Beast for my heart stab. I think the... Lamberg might work on that as well, so that might speed up corp kills, so corp kills a little bit. And give that a try. Why the fuck does my corp setup have an... Huh? Dragon onto lands? Why? Let's see what a Flamberg can do against Corp Beast. Yeah, seems to hit just fine. A little damage. Not as crazy as I've seen in like the UB and stuff, but we're also not Infernal and everything. Although I'm still unsure whether or not that influences it at all, it's so hard to say, but... We'll take it, gonna need to do like 77 of these or something. We could get a Divine Sigil or even some Ellie's, I wouldn't mind. 
at least our Desert coins, but the Vines would be nice to have. Um, and otherwise, we'll at least get Soul Hunter points, so that will be nice for the potential Wonder Reroll Scroll, the... Uh, what else is in that fucking shop? Infernal Elixirs, Wonder Elixirs, that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, cool, cool. Alright, good morning boys, it's a new day, chilling at Corp, and apparently I finished my Soul Hunter a little while ago, I didn't even realize. Just noticed I wasn't getting points anymore. So that should be done now. Go quickly check what the next step will be for that. Alchemical Hydras, you know what? Yeah, let's let's get some uh, Philosopher's Hydras, why not? 3k souls, I definitely want to go buy my reroll scroll, whether I need it or not. You buy these? Yeah, hmm. Yeah, not really worth it though. Task bottles, maybe. At least these ones, the normal master task bottles. I also spent some time buying all of the uh, other task bottles on all the accounts from weekly shops, like the Boss Point Store, Mystery Shots, all of that shit. Except for my own account, I'll do that in just a second. Um, as for Corporal Beast, I got a reasonable amount of drops. I got an Elysian, two Spectrals, probably more than this. A um, few Holy Elixirs, Spirit Shields, 16 of those apparently. I don't know how many. Elixirs? Five of those, so those will combine to be some nice rune coins with the uh, Spirit Shields. So that's nice, and then an Elysian 2 Spectrals. No Divines, but it is what it is. Let's go do some Hydra for the next step. Right. Quite a few task bottles. Gonna turn them all into Grandmasters. We should have some nice tasks to complete for the week. Who knows, maybe we can complete our second AGS or in the near future. But I'm already still super stoked that we got one in the first place. In general, the group is doing very, very good lately. I'm really stoked about it. Very motivating as a whole. Alright, got a quick crest to open on Ghost. Aurea gloves ain't too bad. Then we got a prize key with a pet box to use. No special accessories, unfortunately. One day they will come. And then we got two more imbue stones as well to try and get another crystal. Which would be ridiculous. You never know. No. Not this time. Hey, would you look at that, my boys? It's a philosopher, it's a hydra. These are chaos luck for shits and giggles, because I don't really care too much about these anymore. Okay, I lied, I do care. I want good loot. Give me like five phylo claws. Give me like four times chaos luck's roll, and it all rolls on a phylo claw, and they all double for a total of eight. I think that's deserved. Good luck. Pew pew! Nope, absolutely nothing, damn it. Aw, oh, it was a two times roll, never lucky. Oh cool, another one, two kills later. Not bad, not bad. We get another try at getting a four time chaos luck roll. What will it be? Okay, it worked like an epic luck, but no drops. Hey boys, it's a number three. I also decided to pull out the Flamberg, because it's pretty fun to use. Sadly, no spec to use it on here though. Congrats, Mr. Quayle. Alright, we've had two rolls, we had three rolls, and we're back to two rolls, sad life. Waiting for that fat full roll to come in where we get all the heights and claws in one kill and it will be like, oh my god, crazy. 